right past the All right, what thing. are we doing here? Where's your house? Right up there on Kitten Trail. Okay, where? See the curve? Yes. Just past the curve on the left. Is it before, is it north of Little Beat Court? Yes. Okay. I just drove all the way around to get here. Okay. Well, I don't know that. Well, I'm explaining it to you now. I know. Can you... I go or not? Yeah. Get the hell out. Thank you. See you later. Get back in your car. Get back in your car right now. I'm telling you right now, get back in your car. Oh, you gonna shoot me? You come out of your car on a traffic stop, you offer you. Obviously, it's a dangerous situation. Get back in your car. What'd you stop me for? License, registration, What'd you stop me and for? insurance. What'd you stop me for? License, reason for the stop. You'll find out a supervisor. Sure your information. Supervisor. License, registration, and insurance. I Video will... all you want. You're free. I have I the body cam since yeah, I stopped you in the first place. It doesn't disappear. It's, it's yeah. public record. I know it's public record. License, registration, and insurance. What's the reason for the stop? You fail to yield to a police barricade. You screech in your tires as you leave. You're driving fast. You're obviously frustrated. Yeah. So I'm asking for your license, your registration, and your insurance on a lawful legal stop. Okay. And you're failing to and provide I'm, any identification. I'm, I'm not failing to provide. I'll okay, it's been you. handed to me. All right. Can I request a supervisor before I hand it to you? You can hand me the information first before you start failing to provide your identification. Supervisor, please. Did you get picked on as a kid? In school? Donald Schweitzer. Quick comment here on, on what's going on here. Well, Vinny, uh, the officer probably should have kept this gentleman out of the car because he's in a situation where he's got the power. He's behind the wheel. He could drive off. When he was out of the car, the officer was more safe. But most of all, Vinny, you don't act this way, even if you think that the officer has pulled you over wrong for wrong reasons. The best way to get out of this situation is just comply and then drive away. He's just stirring the pot here. Dr. Keith Taylor, it, 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 the, the officer waved him ahead and then decided to pull him over because um, he said he kind of screeched his tires on the way out. Uh, do you think it was that or the attitude? Uh, I, well, think I think it's it a little both. bit of both, yes. Uh, I, I think it was, it was definitely both. Uh, the, the, the driver was trying to, quote unquote, push the buttons of the officer, get him annoyed. Well, well let me ask but you this. Do... Let me ask you this. Sure. Um, does he have a right to do that? I mean, you, can, you, you, you can't pull someone over because you're angry, right? You have to have a, a, a basis for it. Um, so how, does, how do those two issues play together? Uh, so, yes, that's right. You, you're supposed to have a thick skin as a police officer. You're not supposed to react to uh, slights or insults uh, that, that individuals may give you on the street or in vehicles. But if that... The, if that behavior is combined with, say, reckless driving, then the officer uh, can act on that. And the screeching of the tires, the, the driving, you know, erratically would might indicate that there is something else that the officer has to, to pursue or right. investigate. Let's listen in a little bit more here. I think we have a few more seconds left. Break traction. I hope you got that on camera because I'll see you in court. When he hit the thing, I completed my stop. And he gets out with an attitude. You don't see the patrol car? No, obviously I so, see it. I didn't crash into it. Well, the part is that you can't drive around the barricade to begin with. This is retaliatory because I gave him an attitude. He wouldn't have done this if I didn't give him an attitude. Well, I appreciate you bringing the level down. It helps me some because I'm like fuming right now that he did that. Well, yeah, here's your information. Of All right. Here's your license. Why Man, what the give you, you this information? To be a cop Drive around on a detour barricade. It's $164. Fantastic. Good. You have 30 days really to basically pay it or take care of it. Fantastic. Am I signing? You're also got, uh, Am I signing? You also got any information Am I signing? Am I signing? Do I need to sign? You're all set. Have a good day. You're all set. I don't want you to talk yourself into handcuffs. Have a good day. Take care. Take care. I said All right. Donald Schweitzer, give me about 30 seconds worth of analysis here. Yeah, you know, for the police to pull people over, they just need a reasonable suspicion that a crime has occurred, is occurring, or is about to occur. A lot of people call that probable cause. In this case, the officer said that he, this guy drove around the police barricade. They had a reason to stop him. At that point, who's in control here? Is it the officer or the passenger or the driver of the car? The driver should have just obeyed the law and not given him lift.